let's learn about ratios. But what is a ratio and why would you use it? Well, a ratio compares two quantities of the same unit or the same kind. A quantity means an amount. Um, and it's used when what is important is how different amounts compare to each other. For example, a baker <clears throat> might have a great recipe for a delicious cake. And the recipe is you put in two kilograms of flour, one kilogram of butter, 500 grams of sugar, and it makes a delicious cake. Perfect. What's important isn't really these numbers here, it's how they compare to each other. You know, you could put in double the amount of flour, butter and sugar, and as long as you mix them in the same ratio, the cake will end up the same. It will have the same ratio. Um, for example, we note here, the amount of flour is double the amount of butter, and the amount of butter is double the amount of sugar, and as long as you put your three ingredients in with that ratio, that could make a very, very small batch if they're much smaller, or a large batch if you put in 10 times the amount. If they compare the same, you'll have the same cake. That's what a ratio is trying to capture. Um, and to write it as a ratio, we've got a few rules here. Each quantity, each amount needs to be in the same unit. And we write the quantities, the amounts, we separate them with colons. A colon is this two, dot, two dots here. Looking at these amounts here, in fact, this is the first question to express this as a ratio. I've got two kilograms, one kilogram and 500 grams. Are these in the same unit? No, they're not. So I'll have to convert them to the same unit. To convert them to the same unit, it's probably easiest to convert them to the smallest unit, which is smaller out of a kilogram or a gram. A gram is the smallest unit. So let's convert each of these to be the same unit and put the colons between them, the two dots. Two kilograms, if I convert that to grams, I get 2,000 grams because a kilogram is 1,000 grams. And then I put my two dots. One kilogram is how many grams? A thousand grams and then two there's the two dots and 500 grams is already in the correct unit because a ratio uh, they're all in the same unit I don't actually have to write the unit here grams to grams to grams you can but you don't have to so you can simplify it to just do um, I'll, I'll scribble it here two thousand to a thousand uh, to 500. Later on we'll learn how to simplify it, uh, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, and we read this as 2,000 grams to 1,000 grams to 500 grams. We read those two dots as two. All right, I've got another one here. Eight dollars to three dollars. Maybe we own a business together and I own most of it, so for every eight dollars that comes to me, three dollars goes to you because you own less of the business. So this one's really simple, eight to three. Clean that up, easy, they were already in the same unit. Uh, we've got one more example. Uh, at Pulteney, there are three girls for every four boys. Uh, and that's true, it's almost exactly three girls for every four boys. Uh, some year levels there are more girls and boys, other year levels it's different, but across the school. We can write this as a ratio. I like to write above it what these things represent. You don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier to follow. Um, so three girls for every three, four boys means the ratio of girls to boys is three to four. Cool, and that's the stuff that you need to know about ratio. Give the questions a go, um, check your answers, and let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help. Bye everyone.